This is the Sony a7C. Let's go over the best video settings to get you up and started with filming some video. So let's hop into the menu. So with video settings, you're not really doing anything until you get to the movie tab. So exposure mode, I'm gonna change that to manual just so you have full control over your ISO aperture and shutter. File format, we're gonna change that to 4K. Record settings, I'm gonna set mine to 30 frames per second. If you want something more cinematic, then set yours to 24 frames per second. 30 frames per second just seems to be like the internet standard. Going over to the next tab, let's change our transition speed to five is pretty fine. And then the sensitivity, put that all the way up at five. That way it is detecting what it needs to focus on pretty quickly and then taking a second to actually focus. That way it's not too, too jarring. Going over to the fourth tab, turn movie with shutter on. That way you can use the big shutter button at the front to actually record. Go over to seven out of 10, finder monitor. I'm gonna change it to where it's monitor only. This is uh, your EVF settings. So, so if you have anything pass in front of your EVF, your monitor is no longer gonna turn off. You'd be surprised how often that can happen when you're filming. Put into your zebra settings, turn them on, and then put the level to 95. All right, so now this is like the fun stuff, changing all of the buttons. There's not a lot of buttons, so it's not gonna take that long. Go to the second one, the movie custom key. Number one, I have that as autofocus, manual focus toggle. I changed number three to be focus standard. Number four is peaking display select. Number five is ISO. Number six is white balance. Going over to the next tab on top, I changed that to Gamma Display Assist. I couldn't find anything good for number two, so that's open. You can put whatever it is that you want there. All right, let's go back into the menu, go to Function Menu Set. So with the Function Menu, you can have a different menu for your photos and your videos, or you can just create your photo function menu and have your video function menu copy all of the same settings. It's up to you. But for this video, let's go down to the bottom with the video function menu. For these first two, I have nothing set. So the next one I have grid line, focus area, audio record level. And then on the bottom, I have marker display, white balance and picture profile and slow and quick frame. I have a couple open spots because I don't use them, but feel free to put whatever it is that's gonna make your life easier there. Go back into your menu, go to the next tab, to your network tab, and then turn airplane mode on. This is gonna help you with battery life. Then underneath the toolbox in the second tab, go to auto power off temperature and turn that to high. I doubt that this camera is going to overheat, but this is gonna make sure that that just really doesn't happen. So we are almost done. The last thing that we're gonna do is set up our picture profiles really quickly. So press your function menu, go to picture profile, and then we're gonna just change picture profile number one. Real quick, it doesn't matter which one you choose, whether it's one, two, three, four, five, it doesn't matter. They're just placeholders. The different picture profiles, they do come with presets. So one and two are different, but if you have the exact same settings in picture profile number one, and the exact same settings in picture profile number two, it's gonna look the exact same. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, but we're just gonna choose number one. So I'm gonna change my gamma to HLG2, color mode to 709. Personally, I like 709. Lots of professionals would do BT2020, so it's really up to you. Go down to detail and put the level at negative two. That's just taking out some of the internal sharpening. Go down to adjust, crispening, and put that at seven. This is just making sure that none of the noise in your footage is going to be sharpened. But that's about it. That's how I'm setting up my A7C. Let me know if you set it up the same way and if you like it or whatever it is that you're doing. And that's about it. All right, all right.